All right, so there's a video on making wood top uh, mini barrel bars or barrel display cabinets. Something I also make is a glass top um, barrel bar, barrel display cabinet. There's a slight difference in the way you make these on the start. So I'm gonna go over a little bit of that in that video. Um, again, it's a 55 gallon used whiskey or, or bourbon barrel. Um, the real difference is uh, like the other video, go through, find your staves that you want to cut out that's going to make your opening. Mark them with a pencil, your right and your left staves, the last ones. Mark those where they're going to be the last stave that you want to cut out. You're still coming down with that tool. You're going to make a nice straight line. Follow that through. Drill a hole. Get your jigsaw in that hole. Follow it through with your jigsaw and cut it open. Um, now, all that's going to take place on this. However, when you're doing a glass top, you can't do that first. You gotta wait. So what I start with first is I go through it, I find where I'm gonna make my opening and get it marked. Second, I go to the bottom three bands. And I go ahead and I drill and I screw those bands just like we did with the wood top barrels. However, with the glass top barrels, the top three bands, uh, you can go ahead and screw them if you want, or excuse me, drill them if you want, prep them from screws, but don't screw the bands in yet. You're gonna take all these bands off and you're gonna open the top of this barrel up. Um, that's gonna make all your staves loose. You have your wood top here. I take a hammer and I wrap the staves and knock them loose from the wood top. Most of the times that wood top is sealed with a kind of a wax ring from the barrel manufacturer and, and uh, those that are making product and whiskey. Knock that loose. Come in with a flat pry bar. I call it a wonder bar if you're familiar with this. Uh, it's just a flat pry bar. Get that down in underneath that wood head and pry up. You can get the wood head to pop out and then you can work it around and take the wood head out as whole. You can also save that wood head. That wood head can be used later on for your bottom Lazy Susan. That'll be another video on how we're making those. Once your barrel is open, push these last three bands back down on the barrel. You're snugging it back up. Again, not tight. You're just getting for a nice snug fit for all these staves. Once the staves are all in, the top band is flush. I use a pneumatic tool. This is actually a angled die grinder. I've taken the guard, the protective guard off and I've inserted a bit. This bit is 3 8 inch. Um, and what's gonna happen, this is gonna be, these are extremely loud, so I won't do this on camera, but I'm gonna go through this groove where the old barrel head set, and I'm gonna grind it out. I need to grind it to a 3 8 inch width. Um, the factory barrels, they taper these down to a quarter inch. We need to make room to set a 3 8 inch piece of glass. Quarter inch glass on top of these barrels, it's too thin. And when you go to set bottles down on it, uh, eventually you could potentially crack it. So that's why we use this tool. And we grind that open to a 3 8 inch um, gap. Uh, after all that's done, we need to get our glass. I'll put the glass sizes in these videos down in the uh, description here. But I use a little suction tool. This is to grab a hold of the glass, get the glass slightly wet, put your tool down, pull it up, and you'll have suction on your glass. Take your bands off. You've got your groove, grooved out to 3 8 inch. Take one or two or even maybe three bands off to get this barrel again to open up a little bit. And you take your glass on your suction, get it down in your groove, and slip your bands back on. Now this is a little bit tricky because you're going to be holding on to the glass in one hand. You're going to be get your bands somewhere we can reach them. Get them on over this, holding on to the glass, work your bands down. Take a hammer and start tapping your bands down and just get them to snug in. Once it comes together enough to where your piece of glass is setting on your new grooved surface in here, you can remove the suction tool, open it up, popping it off. The glass should be held inside your rim. Uh, at that point, you're gonna take 
your hammer and potentially your uh, cooperage tool, whatever you might be using. I showed this in the other video. This is a tool that I had made. It's got a little bit of an offset. It's flat, it's curved. I've made this just to fit these bands so I can come around with a hammer and beat the bands on and off as needed. So tap your bands down, come around with your hammer, snug them up around the barrel, come around the top band, snug it up. One trick. The tension on the glass. When you finally get this top band down on your barrel and the top band edges here, it's nice and flush or maybe even down set on the staves a little bit. Wrap on your glass a little bit as you're doing this. If you start getting, if the glass starts hearing like it's drum tight, back your bands off, get a tool, whatever you may be using, and get your glass back out. You're going to have to take your pneumatic 3 inch, 3 8 inch grinder tool and you're going to have to enlarge in that ring again. you got to make more room. Then you go through the steps again. Put your glass back in, get your bands back on, tighten everything back up. What you want is when this metal band is pretty much flush with the top, you can wrap on your glass with a fist or maybe the rubber end of your hammer and you want to hear to where it's just slightly loose or maybe just snug. If it sounds tight at all, there's a strong potential as I learned very early on when I started doing this. Um, I had several of these glass tops made. I had them over in the corner. I started working on a different project and I started hearing a ping and my glass, I had too much tension on the glass and as the temperature changed and things contracted and expanded, it shattered the glass. So uh, that's one tidbit. You got to make sure that you got a little bit of a, just a touch of a rattle in that glass in the groove. And that's, that'll be the perfect tension for later on. Um, once your glass is in there, then you can go ahead and cut your stage open because this is all together and secure. Go ahead and run your screws in to the top three bands. Get your band secure. Cut your staves opening for your opening. Then you can go in and clean out all the char, get it all vacuumed out. Um, if you're cutting your metal bands for your opening, when you're cutting those on a glass top, uh, take a uh, blanket, a towel, anything like that, put it up inside there and protect that glass. If you're using any kind of uh, a cutoff wheel, something that's making sparks, and I use a cutoff wheel when I cut my bands, you don't want those... Um, sparks to come up and hit the glass because they will put an indentation in the glass a little uh almost a little burn mark from a hot spark so you want to protect your glass when you do that the rest of the barrel after that point is the same as the wood top barrels you can watch that video to see how to finish these out um the, the lights still go in this barrel the same as the wood top we use three led lights uh pretty much in the same positions um, you're still going to have this top section of wood with a cut out in the middle. So you're going to have a LED puck light on the inside just underneath this lip. Uh, any bottles you put on top, the light really shines through from underneath um, and really lights up the top. It's a very, just a unique barrel. Um, I really haven't seen anybody else doing this. Um, I haven't looked a whole lot, but I really haven't seen anybody else doing this. So um, some of the other unique things we can do with the glass top. Uh, you can buy, and we've done this for a few customers before, you can buy an acid etching cream from a uh, local, like for us, it's Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And get, a, get to with somebody that can do a vinyl template. So let's say, for instance, we made a Maker's Mark. I've done several of those. We've got a reverse Maker's Mark template. So we put it from the inside on the bottom of the glass and flip the whole barrel over and then we put the acid etch cream on it. You let it set for, I, I don't remember off the top of my head, a few hours. Um, and then you can come through and wipe that cream off, peel that vinyl decal up, that template that you're using, and it will etch the bottom of the glass with whatever, uh, maybe it's a family crest, a family name, you like Maker's Mark, you want to do a Pappy Van Winkle, oh uh, yeah, Pappy, woo, whatever. So you can put whatever you want on it, it's etched from the bottom, um, and it's still nice and smooth on the top, makes for a really nice finish, so. 
Uh, that's all I got. Watch the other videos to figure out how to finish out the rest of these on top of this. Again, glass is a little bit different. You can't cut the bands open until you get your wood top out and your glass top in, secured, drilled, all bands screwed. Everything's nice and tight. Then, that's the biggest difference. Then you can cut your opening in the barrel. So, have a good day. Surgery on your own. Time to change and restore the lesson to get you moving again. With... Alright, so we've got our 3 8 inch groove all the way around here. Um, we did that with the bands on. Now that that's done, I've taken the bands back off so we can open the barrel up, make everything nice and loose. Uh, grabbing the little suction cup tool, I always put a hand underneath just in case. It's just simple as getting this wiggled in. Sometimes you got a few staves here that you got to play with. There it is. It's in. Press it in a little bit. Grab your top band. Find your rivets, slide them up with the other rivets on the barrel. Get that in. Once that's set in, the glass isn't going to go anywhere. It's sitting on a nice rim. It can't fall apart. You can't lose your glass. You can take your suction cup off if you want. Now, taking your cooperage tool or whatever you're doing, slightly go around the barrel, tapping it down, snugging up all the rings. tapping it down, snugging them up, and then screw them in. Now after that's done, you can flip the barrel over on its side and find where you're gonna make your cuts to cut out the opening for the display cabinet. That's how you set your glass for the glass top barrels.